Hey guys, welcome back. So, today is October 1st, and I decided that I wanted to play some, um, spooky games during October. And, um, obviously, I just start with, like, one of my favorite games, and one of my, like, definitely my favorite, like, scary game ever, which is Until Dawn. So, basically, I've already played this game, like, five times, so I'm not sure how I want to go about it. I'm like, do I want to be, like, as messy as possible, make everyone fight, I can make everyone die, or I could play, like, perfectly, keep everyone alive, because I think I know how to keep everyone alive perfectly. There's supposed to be music playing right now, but... I have that muted so I don't get copyrighted. Copyrighted, copyright claimed. And then I would have to mute it. And then that would be sad. You actually did this. <laughs> Don't you guys think this is a little bit wrong? Oh, come on, she deserves it. It is not her fault that she has a huge crush on my Hannah's been making the moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. <sighs> just because he's class prez doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Hey, Em, I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. Mike? It's Hannah. Hey, Hannah. Hey, did you see that? Dad said it'd just be us this weekend. Josh? I remember, um, when this game first came out, literally, like, everybody played it. Like, everyone in the world played it. <clears throat> and I was so jealous. I wanted to play it so bad. Winky face. Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Ugh. Intervention time. Give me a knife. A what? Why do I need network features? What the heck? Jeez, Josh. Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. Um. I got your note. Glad you can make it. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Oh my god! Matt! What are you doing here? 
Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Hey, this all got out of hand. Just but... a stupid prank. Uh. Oh, man, you guys are jerks. You know that? Hannah. Um, let's try to wake him up. Josh! Josh! Fuck! Guys, there's someone outside. That was your sister. What the hell? I don't recognize your own sister. Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? <sighs> it's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We just messing around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! Hannah! So No, that's so embarrassing. Her? If that no, happens to me, be the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. I would literally go find a cliff to jump off of. Oh shit. I'm terrible at quick time stuff, by the way. Which is why I'm like I know how I think I know how to do everything in this game, but like, actually executing it might be a challenge. Cause like, I get so stressed out and then I just like press the closest button, like whatever button my thumb is over, I just press it. So that's like 3 a.m. on her phone. Okay. I know I said if I was Hannah, I would go jump off a cliff if that happened to me, but also, she's doing a little much, I would say. Why are you Hello? running around in the woods Hello? at 3 a.m.? Like, go cry in the bathroom. Back broke. So I think the death totems, those are possible deaths, I think it said. Let me look, actually. Um, yes, possible death of the person who finds it. That's no. the cliff I said I was going to jump off of. Get back! I really Fuck. manifested that for no. them. Oh, 
stop Hannah or let go so I can kill my sister or I can kill both of us. I'm so sorry. Goodbye, sister. Hello, sister. Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. You have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up a card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Um, I would say that picture is quite horrifying. Okay, honesty is good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? The scarecrow, I'm not sure. I would say the whole thing just in general. Like, living so there, them, I would never sleep a day in my easy. life, because I would be so scared okay. every second. Is there something in the house? Um, probably outside of the house, huh. I would say. So, if it's not in the house, then where do you think it is? In the grass. Can it be in the field? Yeah. That's what I just said, actually, so, you know. I see. And is this threat human, or is there some other fear that you have that you would like to talk to me about? Um, I would say it's just a general sense of dread and anxiety. So. An inhuman threat. That's fascinating. Oh, well. Perhaps we can explore your fears a bit further in our next session, I'm afraid. We've run out of time. Another um, muted section. I feel like the music is kind of essential for like horror stuff. Like it really sets the scene, the atmosphere, the vibe.
Oh my god, this is actually, like, awful. <laughs> Without the music. I looked it up beforehand, though, and based on what I saw, um, this game is actually, like, super strict about the copyrighted music. Like, if, like... Sometimes, like, I feel like sometimes you can get away with it. Like, it won't pick it up. Apparently, this game... Today is the one-year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein is in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond Me awesome trying to, to you guys start all back a video. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this. And that, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together. And I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and, um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters and, you know. Okay, so, let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! <laughs> oh, this game has a really good cast, cast. um, the guy who plays Josh is Remy Malik, and the girl who plays Sam is Hayden Penetter. And then, um, Jordan Fisher plays Matt. The girl who plays Ashley was in Glee, but she was a minor character. I wonder what Hayden Penetrator is up to these days. Hannah's best friend. Hello? Someone there? I woke up this morning, like, pretty congested. I think I just didn't get good sleep. So I've been trying not to like sniffle and stuff, but Wow, what? Oh, damn it. 
Gate busted, climb over. I like I don't know why I when it pops up I sit there and I like stare at it and then I'm like oh my god I have to push the button can we talk about her outfit for a second I feel like it's just the pink bag really throwing me off like okay she has the red skirt the matching scarf. The hat's a little weird. And then the pink bag. Like, she matched the scarf and the skirt. And then, I mean, I guess if you have a, like, it's just a book bag. If you have a book bag. Hello, Bella. You hungry? Huh? What's so bad at these? <laughs> Cutie. And, like, later in the game, so there's moments where you have to not move for, like, 10 seconds. And I literally feel like I start, I feel like I like start shaking. Black is death, red is danger, brown is loss, yellow is guidance, fortune is white. I feel like fortune should be yellow. That would help me remember it better. Death, danger, and loss. I feel like those are pretty similar. I wonder if Jul I can't remember if Julian's ever played this game. Chris? You here? Bag's here, where are you? You're not in the I bag, know, are you? I'm like almost a hundred percent sure the Rad Brad played this. And I think that's the first video, the first game I ever watched him play. Um, I'm snooping. Aha! Look who it is. He knows you. Chris! Has a crush on Ashley. You scared me. I, I'm sorry, are, are you my secretary? I was buzzing. Cool, well, thanks for letting me know. I, I can take it from here. Damn. Oh, so, I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. Going to blow your mind. Let me look. Oh, her honesty went down. She's curious. Oh, our relationship with Chris went down a little. He was offended that we looked at his phone. Oh man, look at this. Nice. You think we'll get a visit from America's most... 1998. Like someone thought so. Oh, come on. This place is abandoned most of the year. Nobody comes up here. That's when I was born. Ta-da! Pretty rad, right? Yeah! Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell 
is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge. Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, no, you go ahead, Grizzly. <laughs> All right, here goes. Wow, nice shooting, Tex. All right, I'm bad. I'm a badass. Oh my I'm gonna God. go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. No, I don't think so, girl. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Oh. I must apologize for what I'm about to do. I know some of y'all are about to be very mad. Oh, jerk. <gasps> Bullseye. What are you doing? How could you do that? Okay, I didn't Chris, know so it was Elda. like that. What? That poor little guy was alive about 10 seconds ago. Oh, come on. I swear I didn't know it was did. that cannot graphic. Just did that. Ah! Oh, oh my god, what is that? Get it away! <sighs> Jesus, are, are you okay? This mountain is freaking me out already. Hey, hey, look, our, our cable car is coming. Let's grab our ride. Oh my god. Okay, so I knew she would get attacked by the bird. Oh, their relationship is super low right now. Shot the squirrel, nature bit back and attack Sam. I knew that would happen, but I've never actually done it. I've just like seen it. And I didn't know it was that graphic. Man, it is I'm gonna be in trouble. Back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear the moment I got here it just all came. Hey, that's weird. Door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. You said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. After you. Oh, real gentleman. Crazy place to set up house. I mean, no matter how rich you are. They're not so rich. Family Hotel family. and sanatorium. <sighs> and I thought the car was closer. Guess we gotta wait. I'm starting to get the appeal of killing time at the shooting range. How long is this gonna take? It's a big mountain. Oh, so uh, interesting. You gonna publish? You're pretty tall. The sleeping giant of the Blackwood Forest. Finally, you coming? Uh, Why well, in there? I was gonna stay here and catch some Z's, but okay. um. I was walking in to the cart already. Mm, just like going to the prom. Here we go. Right, adventure begins. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? You know, getting everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I... I'm not 
kind of been worried. No, no, it was it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> you know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Ah, uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Oh, I forgot to say when I was talking about the cast, I forget um, her actress's name, but her actress is the girl that plays Tess Taylor in the Camp Rock movies. I think it's Tess Taylor. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Tessie Taylor. Something like that. Hey. Jessica, over here! Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. It's all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Hey, Chris. <laughs> oh. I'm just doing like Sam taught me. Other people oh my God. thoughts are my own personal playground. Do not be a jerk. My goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Give that back, you tool. Tool and die. That's my motto. Oh, you're such an idiot. Maybe nosy Nancy shouldn't go nosing around in other people's nostrils. Uh, what? Yeah, I, I try not to do that as a rule. Come on, Jess, you can L tell what? us. What? In Don't other people's you. nostrils? Whatever. You'll figure it out eventually. All right, all right. Let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? Uh, I mean, you know, whoever. Uh huh. Sam? <sighs> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge like right where the cable car ends? Mike's I don't think Ben Mike is pretty. Emily's new boyfriend. No. I like how Emily is Mike's ex, him? but Matt is Emily's boyfriend. Why is that Emily Matt's boyfriend? You know what I mean? <sighs> Getting chills. We're Emily's a mean girl, no, but I really like her. Out. Oh. And she is yeah. probably my second favorite character after Sam. Again. Definitely not gonna feel like. Actually, I feel party. like they're kind of tied. I mean, what do you think? Ah! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Michael. You really what about Jess's boyfriend? Right Dude, there. I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Cool. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. 
We're off in the woods. It's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. They're literally arguing like a couple. Michael, you gotta step off. Emily and I are together now, and that's just the way it is. I'm not gonna tell you again. Do we understand each other? Well, I thought maybe we could move past all this. Be buds, but yeah, fine. Mike. No, 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 it's totally cool. I'm just gonna head down the road, be all mature and shit by myself over here. Peace. I think you got the message. Kinda hot when you get all alpha, you know that? Oh, crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, all the bags. Uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. Really what do you and Sam wait? have to We're talk about, there. Emily? It's important, Matt, please. Em. I really don't think you should head back down the trail by yourself. Seriously? It's cold out and it's getting dark. You're gonna protect me from it being dark out? I'll just leave your stuff mm. here and come with you. Nobody's gonna steal it. Matt, are you kidding me? You can't leave me alone for five minutes? You really think that little of me? That's not what I meant. Why can't you just listen to me? Why do you have to question everything I say? I'm sorry, Em. I'm just trying to be helpful. If you want to be helpful, then you can help get everything up to the lodge as quickly as you can, okay? Um, I like her coat. Okay. I must say, Fine. it's pretty iconic. You want. Thank you. I'll see you up there after I go find Sam. See you in a bit. Hold on. I want to look at some of these. Oh, hmm. Um. So when he when he took the card from Jess, he I think he did that because Sam looked through his phone. I don't think he does that if Sam ignores his phone. But it didn't update in the butterfly effect, so I'm not sure. Okay, this is literally the definition of Ashley. Like, she's literally being snoopy for no reason. Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. These are not good people. They're not in the friend zone kind of way. Mike was like, oh, I and thought we could be buds, but right I'll be the mature one and walk away. Five seconds later. I didn't mean to scare Just you. Louise, well, Matt. I did mean to scare you, sort of scare I don't you, like but Ashley. Like real oh scary. Oh my gosh, oh my god. You okay. could have <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash, Dan. It's okay, it's fine, it's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it, Let me check it out. No. Take a look. Um, sure, uh, go, go ahead. Knock yourself out, I guess. Ah. Son of a... Bitch! Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. Nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. God I... damn it. Matt. Ashley is a messy girl. I mean, I made her that way, but... That's also just the way she is. Check phone or read book. Um, let's read a little bit. It's good for you. I wonder what book that is. Oh, that's like a romance book, I think. <laughs> you did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. 
But who am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping Stop military ball. guard come to take me into custody? I, well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Great. Hey, you know that? <laughs> Where are you hiding, little chickadee? Oh! Ah, ah, I'm fucking hey. up. Oh, oh snap! Hello, come on. <laughs> hey, Mike. Ooh, okay. Oh, you got me. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes doing nothing is the right me, thing to do. I know all your tricks. Damn, Jess. Look what you did. I know, I know. Oh, no. Poor birdie. Poor little Tweety birdie. Stone cold, Jess. I didn't do it on Listen, purpose. Listen. I do not condone animal violence. But oh in this God. game, I do what I need to do for the mess. Okay? Michael? I'm sorry. <laughs> gotcha. It's done. Done city. So did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. All right, all right. My, my. So are we calling it my favor then? You're a worthy opponent, Miss Jessica. Oh, you know what? Friends. When okay, you, that um. Vaguely dirty. When my you favorite. play this with music, there's a really cute song in the background. And it really makes this kind of cute. Ah! Even though he was kind of oh, cheating on her, okay. like, five seconds okay. prior what with Emily. What am I gonna get? I mean, they weren't really no. doing anything, I guess, I can think but... of at least one thing. Yeah. But you'll have to wait until later. Did you hear that? Uh, yeah, sounds like... <laughs> Jess, look out! Oh! oh my god! That was really close. <sighs> Good to know I've got a hot and VOD. that is the result awesome. of what happened Bodyguard from on um, killing the bird. Whoa. Sexy and smart. Roll up your tongue Although it didn't really do much, hot so hot. maybe maybe it wasn't worth it. Um, who's that? When he had his hands folded like that, it looked like he had 500 fingers. Now pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Uh -huh. Man or woman. That's such an interesting, funny thought provoking question. Ooh. I will never go on a plane in my life. Ooh. 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 Those are both bad. Those are both horrible. Ah, I love a good rat. I love rats in theory. I like the idea of rats. I like what they represent. But in real life, I would prefer if rats stayed away from me. 
Who would fear roaches more than Snape? Ew. Prop Scarecrow. I'm not really afraid of clowns. Gore. Crows. What? Duck. Oh. Did that startle you? So sorry. You're doing very well. Don't be nervous. My therapist trying to give me a jump scare. Try to speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. Uh, I also said spiders, because, like, but the thing is, I see spiders more in my everyday life, which is why I almost said spiders, but I feel like if I were to see a snake, it would scare me more than a spider. Because spiders don't... What scares me about spiders is, like, when it's nighttime. And, like, like you don't know if there's a spider crawling up your wall, crawling in your bed. Gore doesn't really disgust me. I watch Grey's Anatomy, so... This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligently. <laughs> Snakes, you. scarecrows, and dogs. What kind of therapist? <laughs> Some combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> uh, well, 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 I'm afraid once again we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. Previously on Mr. Until Dawn. This is a little bit the game just started. Oh, what do you mean? Deserves it. Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? It was just a prank, Han. No! First off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. I really want to spend some quality time with each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sisters. I need to go find Sam. Oh, son of a bitch. So I got moved to the back. And next oh, like, it was just Tell a hug, Boom. but she Butterfly lied. Effect. So obviously there's more going on. Man, I feel like this mountain gets Jealousy. bigger every time I climb it. Oh, yeah? That feels the same to me. See what I'm saying? Hit it best, brother. Come on, you grew up here. It probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. When are you going to install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, and I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, I think I left it in my other jacket. Oops. Hey, guys. Get up here, okay? Yeah. Oh, well, more or less, but it is so good to see you. What's up with him? Yo, yo, yo. We get things moving up here or what? Yeah, man. Gossip. So Matt and Emily are a thing now, right? Yeah, so it seems. I mean, what's Mike think of that? I have a feeling Mike's already got his hands full, you know what I mean? Huh. Damn it. It's a freaking thing. It's iced. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in. They're just all locked. There's got to be, like, a window around the corner we can get, like, get open or something. Wait a second. Are you saying we should break in? <laughs> I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey. Not if I don't report you. Um, <laughs> lead the way, Coaches. Coaches. 
What does that mean? That sounds like. Hi, Chris. Am I allowed to say that? Um, unsettled. Let's be confident. So, how are you doing? Good, but a little cold. I think I could use some time curled up by the fire. Yeah. Okay. That does sound pretty nice. Go do that by yourself. I'm not doing anything with you. Nasty. Actually, encourage Matt to use a telescope because his messy little bee. Matt saw Mike and Emily flirting. Okay. Um. I'm assuming this auto saves. So I'm gonna leave it there. Because we're running out of time. It's already been like 50 minutes. Um, I don't know when. So, I don't know if you've noticed. Because I've been fairly inconsistent. But my ideal upload schedule is Tuesday through Friday. And so, I was kind of like, I don't want to start this on a Friday. Because then I'm going to go three days without posting a second episode. But I also wanted to start it on the first day of October. So there will prob there will be there will probably be another episode Tuesday unless I get time to film another one over the weekend. So expect Tuesday, but maybe this weekend. There will be more. Okay. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Happy spooky season. Happy October. Goodbye.